guys, just a quick preface to the video. Everything after this clip is shot with the uh, Polaroid Cube. And I wanted to uh, showcase this particular camera in this video uh, to show you exactly how good it is. One thing I liked about it was the fact that you could uh, set it almost anywhere. And, uh, you know, I was setting it in between branches on trees and stuff. Um, the only bad thing about it is if you get it in really bright light, it starts to fluctuate some sort of a noise thing and you'll notice that in the video uh, if you watch the background it'll change like it's got noise in bright light but indoors it really shines as a camera but uh, this video shows that it's versatile for both so um, here it comes to the, the place once, the, the distillery, and got the hat. I did buy a bottle. Yeah, with a hat. Yeah. I, never have I bought the, a bottle of it, but it, an ex-girlfriend spilled it all over the place. It was a $46 bottle of whiskey, and I was like, you owe me that whiskey, and she never did pay me back, so. Uh, and you can only get it at the distillery. It's that, uh, that special. Uh, yeah. So, And that's in Kentucky, so you got to drive to go get it. And, you know, I tried to... A friend of mine came into town and I was going to use it for uh, whenever me and him get together, we just have a drink, you know. And we used it once and then she spilled it. And we were going to use that one bottle. Ah, yes. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, it smells good. Check it out. I'm gonna grub. That's what I'm gonna do. Man, these noodles are thick. Look at these things. They look like freaking worms. The water is just down there, so I'm going to go down there and see if there's a path. I don't know how stationary this is going to be, and I apologize if it's moving around a little bit, but... I'm going to put you guys somewhere and get my bearings for this cache. There's a good spot. <laughs> that tree's dead. Okay, I'm going to put you guys up here somewhere. I don't know where yet. Let's see. That's what's neat about this camera. You can put it anywhere. Okay, so let me look at my phone real quick.
we are farther away from it than no actually we're closer we just need to head down that direction a little ways so let's go ahead and head down that way this is the direction we're going okay so we got 132 feet that direction it's crooked but hey you'll have that As you can see, this is a neat little spot. Nice and quiet except for the road. And the occasional cigarette butt. <laughs> okay, so we are 92 feet from the cache. I don't even know what the name of it is. Man, look at how big that tree is. Look at that monster. It's like a big old birch tree or something. No, it's just that the bark is off the top of it. I don't know what kind of tree that is, but it's a monster tree. This one's pretty good size too. Okay, so we are 26 feet. Oh wow. Adventures. Kleenex. There's a, a gold ring of some sort. Log book. It's called End of the World. It's a music CD called American Traditional F Favorites, but I don't know. I don't know what's on it. Make sure there's nobody coming. Um, we got a gift card at Target. We've got some silica gel, and we've got this little Easter Bunny trinket. Somebody's been here recently. <laughs> this is cool. We've got a cow clip. <laughs> I like that. Um, that's pretty much it, except for two pins and a log. So here's what's going to happen. I'll put this back the way I found it. And I don't know. I think, I hope I put the, uh, the stuff that I was going to put in the cache in my pocket. If not, I'm going to have to go back to the van and get it. Um, okay, here's the marble. So I got the marble and we'll put it in there. And I know that dog's in here somewhere. Okay, here he is. So the greyhound's going in there. And all I want to do now is sign the log and put it back where it is before somebody comes along. So let me do that real quick. This is a replacement log. Okay, where's the pin I just put in my pocket? Ah, here it is. Got my trusty orange pin that I got from the previous cache. Don't see anybody coming. Let's see, what is today? Today is April 5th, I believe. Okay. Man, that pin is so cool. Next time I go to like a place that has all kinds of pins, I'm going to get these little bastards. Different colors. Just for geocaching. Okay, I'm going to put it back in its hiding spot. That was a good hiding spot, too. It barely pulls out of there. Get in there, you. Got a pin getting in the way. I'm trying to do this quick so nobody sees me. I got to get my phone. I left it over there on the ground. Okay, so let's mark this one as found. Just gonna click found it and then write message. Excellent. Hide. Cash is in great condition. I left a couple items. Took nothing. But I did want to take that cow. If that cow didn't have a pink end on it, I would have clipped it on my thing that would have been cool I'm not the kind of guy to wear pink 
left a couple items, took nothing. But I was tempted. <laughs> okay. Okay, and I'm going to send it off. And one thing I'm going to do is, since the height isn't really that, you can see it from the trail, I'm going to throw some stuff in there to kind of keep people from seeing it if they walk by. Look at that. Got a bend up there. Okay. Here's a little something. Now I'm no expert. On this, but I wanted to show you something. If you're in the woods and you're trying to be quiet, Notice that there's sticks everywhere. Um, you need to find the best way for you to walk to uh, minimize the sound that you're going to make. So that could either be walking on your heel or it could be walking on the, the balls of your feet. And it just depends on what works for you. And basically, you want to be conscious of everything that's on the ground. And if your foot comes across something like a stick, then you're going to be feeling for that as you walk and you're going to adjust your weight so that you're not going to snap that stick and then you're going to keep walking. And so, as you notice there, I might be making slight crunchy noises because of all the little teeny branches on the ground, but I'm not actually cracking a stick. So you need to figure out a method that works for you. For me, what I tend to do is I tend to stick my heel down first. That way I can feel what's in front of me if I'm not watching the ground. But I'm also kind of switching between watching around me and looking at what's in front of me. So I can kind of sidestep the things that, uh, that really are going to make a lot of noise. Now these little crunchy noises, you're not going to hear that unless you're somewhere close. But this, you're going to hear. You hear that? The big snaps are what you're going to hear. These are all wet, so they're not going to snap on me, but um, you get the idea. If they're really dried out, they will snap just like that. So, if you're walking along, you're going to be stepping on leaves. They're going to make noise, but it's not going to permeate like the snapping of a twig does. This permeates, Whoop. that permeates, and even bigger logs make these big echoey snaps. So again, I'm not trained or anything, but I've done a lot of uh, military simulation. So when you're walking through the woods, pick what works for you and choose your steps. If you, if you think that other people are going to be in the area or you're hunting deer or whatnot, or a rabbit or, or squirrel, then you want to be as quiet as possible so that you're not detected. What you want to do is find a piece of land that you can go to and spend time on and try to sneak up on animals. If you're out in the woods and you're walking around really quietly, you'll hear birds chirping around you because they're not paying attention because you're not making that much noise. But if you're making noise, it'll be really quiet. Now this bird off in the distance, he's too far away to care. So but right around here, it's quiet. You hear that? That's because the birds, in fact, there's one right up there, know that I'm here and they're watching me and they're listening. But if you're moving quietly through the woods and you're not snapping twigs, then you're gonna be able to sneak up on animals and or humans. And another thing that's really important is that you take the time to just sit and listen and watch.
And that way, you can get a lot more information about your surroundings. And obviously, if you're walking, like right where I'm at is a path, okay? Over here is not. So, here we are in your typical, your typical tall grass, you know, grass that's up to here maybe. And you heard, I just put my weight on some sticks and it just crunched. That's something you don't want to do. Now it's obvious that I'm out of practice with this because I'm not balancing very good. Once you get used to it, you get into a mode where you're balancing quite well. Um, another thing I noticed, you get these walnuts all over right here, and typically they're not going to make any noise because they're too damn hard. But you got something like this. If you were to step on that and break it, it would make a loud noise. Something like that, you don't want that. And if you step on that and put your weight on it, it will make a cracking noise and all of a sudden everything around you will stop and look and listen. The small stuff, the little weed crunches, that's not a big deal. The big stuff. So you could sneak up on something making this noise. Especially if you're taking your time and you're stopping, looking, and listening. And if you had to, you could get prone and crawl, which would make even less noise. But anyway, once you get used to it, you'll start making less noise and you'll be able to sneak up on stuff. Hopefully I conveyed that well. That one popped. That one popped. I've been I've been on patrols before where somebody steps on a log that's across a, the, the way you're going and they will uh, step on that log and it'll go crack, sound like a firecracker goes off, everything gets quiet. <laughs> if, you're, if you're taking fire, none of these trees are going to provide very much protection. I mean, It's staying like this against the tree, but your butt's going to be stuck out. You're, it's not going to provide very good protection. So in that case, if you don't have something big enough to provide the protection that you need, then you need to get on the ground and uh, get as low as possible. Make yourself less of a target. These trees are not going to cover you. Now, if you get down on the ground and you get behind this tree prone, then it's going to cover you quite well. And the weeds are going to conceal you so you can't be seen. And that gives you the advantage. But something this small, you're not going to be able to hide behind it. And somebody, anybody that's any decent distance nearby is going to be able to hit you because they can see it from behind the tree. to show you guys this is another one of those spots where look at this acorns out the butt these trees right here there's three of them that are dropping loads and loads of acorns now if you're if you're the kind of person that is looking for some extra food sources that are local look no further uh, I found that the geocache is straight this way I wanted to show you guys what this looks like. The van's over here. As you can see right there. So we're going to walk down here. You hear that? That's me stepping on these. I'm not caring how I'm walking. But these are the kind of logs that are rotted and you step on them they make noise. I'm going to set you guys down here so that you can 
see the uh, scenery, hopefully, if I can find a good spot. Okay, so you guys are going right up. Enjoy the scenery, and I'll be right over here. Okay guys, I just found the next cache, so let's see if I can give you a camera view that you can see this. I'll tell you what, this camera is so cool. You can almost set it anywhere. Okay. Wow. Somebody's been putting some major stuff in these caches. Look at this. The unique collection. And this is really cool. Made of shells. And it opens up. Let's see what's inside. Nothing. Somebody's really. Uh, hey, check it out. Here's one of those pins, like I've got. So, must be, must be whoever, um, whoever lost that pin, bought it at the same place. Oh, here's another, another orange one. Let's see how this one writes. We'll use this one. There's a blue one in there too. This one's for you, Justin. Oh, another one. There's two of them. Ooh. Now that's cool. It's a little info thing about ticks. There's a third keychain in here. There's... <laughs> Got a bracelet with baseball, gloves, apple, monkey, sun, homemade bracelet, or necklace. <laughs> Little Mexican guy south of the border. Mexicano. There's a little star candle on a stick. You're not gonna believe this. Number four. These were a dollar a piece. Stickers are still on the back. And we've got, got these colors to choose from. So I'm gonna try the orange one and see what it looks like. Oh no. Oh, I, I see. I think they poked these on purpose to let air in so it dries out. So let's go ahead and sign the log. It has a green pen in it, but I'm gonna use an orange one just to be different. Oh, there's nothing in it. Ah, there we go. It's a new log. The last find was four days ago. Oh, wow, these pins are cool. They got sparkles, glitter. This one's just regular orange with glitter in it. Man, these pens are so cool. I don't know if you can see the glitter off of those, the writing or not. But it's really cool. It's like somebody just messaged me and it's probably John. So I'm gonna put these other pins back where I found them. Get this thing back together. Make sure this log looks sealed. I just cannot believe they got four of these Canadian things in there. The necklace back here. You're gonna put the 
small stuff in first before I try to cram this big booger in there. Not how in the world they fit it in there. It's a tight fit for sure. Okay, I think I've got everything. Huh. See the symbol on this? That's an Herbalife container. Okay. I'm gonna mark this one as found real quick. While I'm doing that, I'll put you guys over here so you can see. Okay. That's done. Let's check on the other ones. So, I'm going to go back to the parking lot and see where they are in relation to that as soon as I put this back. Somebody rode up on a bicycle and was over there doing something. I don't know if they were geocaching or what. But have to put it back where I found it and I don't think anybody's looking now so might as well do that I don't what the deal is with the people pulling up there's the same guys pulled up twice so anyway I put it back where I just got it and this is a nice view check this out it's a little higher up there's the log I had you sitting on. Here's somebody doing something. In my opinion, this is a nice spot to come if you want to be alone. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> Go check out Hogback Road since we're right next to it and see what we got as far as uh, geocaches. There's one over there. I'm just assuming there's going to be a parking spot that you can pull off on because usually there is. Okay, I just walked over a little bit and uh, found this little path leading away from the parking lot. And we're standing on the edge of it right now. I got a guy behind me that's uh, sitting in his truck doing nothing. So you got to wonder what he's doing. Well, he's leaving. Oh, look at this. Look at that. <laughs> uh, just standing this close to the edge gives me the willies. Look at how tall it is over there past the tree. That's how tall it is right here. Damn, that gives me the willies. And the path goes right along it. I think if I was going to walk along this, I'd probably stay back here. Even though it's, uh, even though it's probably all stone. It just doesn't ease my mind, you know? And I see more of these acorns. See there? They're everywhere. There's no excuse for for not having um, at least flour around here. I mean, as long as there's trees, you've got flour. And with the walnuts, you get your, you get protein and stuff. Imagine acorn flour um, using that with like squirrel or something. I bet that's good. Yum. Okay, so I'm taking a deviation from the, uh, the path because I'm not walking that close to the edge. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just not my thing. This is the same guy that went to that lighthouse, got up to the top, stuck one foot out, took some pictures, and that was it. Like, screw this. Okay, so that guy left, finally. No idea what he's doing. Okay. You guys are precariously set. <laughs> I got uh, spider webs on me. Okay. Let's see what we got. 
Oh yeah, I'm not even anywhere close. I'd have to go all the way down there. It'd be a hike. It ain't happening today. Sun's going down.